Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bit of a different video. I'm here in front of my perfume collection right now because today we're gonna be tackling this area because it's getting a little out of hand. I had it all organized and nice when I first bought this little cabinet and then, you know, the more I started using stuff and just throwing things in random places where they didn't belong, it is now this jumbled up mess that you saw in the beginning of this video. But we're gonna get it all in check in this video. So I'm bringing you with me to organize my fragrance collection. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning on not only the cabinet, but like the perfumes themselves. Some of these are so dusty and uh, they really need a cleaning. And also I'm gonna try to declutter if I can anything. It's getting really, really hard to do declutters at this point because I've done so many and these are the fragrances that have survived all those declutters. So it's now very very, very hard to declutter but i'm gonna try to because my goal is to keep my fragrance collection under 200 perfumes and i'm not really sure where i stand right now because i brought in a lot of perfumes so i'm gonna try to do a little bit of decluttering as well in this video and if i do all perfumes that i do declutter in this video will be linked in my mercari shop that'll be the first link in the description box so definitely stay tuned till the end i'm gonna do like a little shot of everything i decluttered and everything that's gonna be up on my mercari so if you want to purchase anything make sure you stay till the end of this video to see what i end up posting on there with all that being said before we get into it please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn those notifications on and let's get started with cleaning this whole mess okay first things first before we even get into this we gotta get into this this is all of my travel slash samples slash just a lot of things perfumes just like tiny perfumes that don't go in there but i really need to go through it there is so much dust on these it's actually embarrassing because this little thing lives on top of this cabinet first are these i'm not gonna get rid of any of these and by the way quick shout out to amy glam in this video because she kindly sent me all these samples we talk from time to time here on instagram and we gush over like new fragrances every once in a while and a few months back she told me she's like hey i have a bunch of samples if you want them and i was like thanks girl and she sent them over so thank you to amy for all these samples and let me go through them i think i want to get rid of the packaging just because i feel like it takes up too much room but i'm definitely going to keep the fragrances so first is this sugarful and spice by michael germain like i said i'm going to keep all the little samples i just want to throw away these maybe that's like a big no-no in the fragrance world i feel like people keep like packages of perfumes but I don't want any packages. This is Replica Jazz Club. This little set, I think I'm gonna keep in this box. This is a set by Five Cents. It's like a little discovery kit. So I think I'm gonna keep this whole thing just cause I don't really mind the packaging of this and it keeps them all organized. And then here's another Sugarful one. This is the pink one. I think this is the original Sugarful. And then this is just like this Twisted Lily fragrance. I have these from Scentbird, which I'm definitely going to keep because I love these, especially for traveling. These are perfect. But there is a couple scents that I think I can declutter. Actually, maybe not a couple, just one. <laughs> I'm definitely going to keep this one. This is called Seven Summers by Dime. That one is like a Baccarat Rouge dupe and I love that type of scent, so definitely keeping that. This one is is gucci bloom hmm haven't really used this that much i've used it a little bit just because this scent is more of a floral scent oh it smells really good okay yeah no keeping that this is commodity milk so for a minute there i thought about decluttering this just because i have the full size milk uh commodity kindly sent the full size over to me but i am gonna keep that just because i feel like for traveling if i don't want to bring the big size, I can just bring that. And those are the old packaging, but they have upgraded to this packaging. This video is not sponsored by Semperd, by the way. I've worked with them in the past, but not in this video. I'm not gonna get rid of any of these just because, well, first of all, I like them all, like scents that I really enjoy. And also like one of these, for example, the Sisley one. This is Sisley Low Rev De Elia. This has quickly become one of my favorite scents, but I actually bought a full size of it recently. Um, which I love, but I'm gonna keep this also just because, you know, I can travel with it without obviously bringing the full size. Confessions of a Rebel, oh yes. What does this smell like? This one's really nice. It's very fruity, but I can kind of do without it. So I think this one I am gonna let go of. This one is 
uh, Delina La Rose by Perfumes de Marley. I haven't smelled this in a minute. That's pretty. I don't really see that big of a difference between this and the original Delina, which I have in my collection. So I think I can let go of this one. I'm gonna actually give both of these to my mom because I think they're like fruity, fresh scents that she would enjoy. I have all of these addict solid fragrances that they sent me and i really like these they're really unique i've never tried solid fragrances these are really nice for layering i use them from time to time they're sandalwood oak moss musk tuberose there's like single notes solid fragrances which are really nice for layering so i'm definitely gonna keep all of those then i have all these by oil perfumery which i also worked with in a video and i really like these but truth be told i don't really use them that much and there is definitely a couple that i can definitely get rid of this one is a perfume oil of gucci bloom which i just had that other sample of and like it's nice but i don't think i need two things of it so i'm definitely gonna let go of that this is effing fabulous by tom ford oh that's strong it's not a bad scent. I just don't really see myself using it. It's like a lot to take in. This one is of Love Don't Be Shy. Which again, love the scent. But I have the perfume in my collection. I don't think I need an oil of it. And again, like this would be nice for layering. It smells exactly like it. By the way, these are impressions of like dupes of the higher end perfumes. When they, they're like spot on dupes. I think that's going to also go up on my Mercari. Aventus for her. I really like this scent. Mm, I feel like that's a little off. So I think I'm actually gonna throw that away because it smells off to me. And then Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Oh, this smells amazing. But I have dupes, other dupes of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. So I'm gonna let go of that. Letting go of all four of these perfume oils. So check them out on my Mercari if you want to. I'll probably do like a listing with just all of them in like a little bundle. I have these two Bath and Body Works. You're the one and Among the Clouds. Keeping both of these. I love these. Just kidding. I have one more of In the Stars which I obviously freaking love. So I'm going to keep all three of these. I have these two roller balls for Private Show by Britney Spears. And I like these, but honest to God, I've never used them. They're like full. I maybe have used them like once or twice, but they are roller balls and I'm not in love with roller balls. If a travel perfume comes in a roller ball, I'm probably not going to use it. So should have never bought these. It's a really nice scent though. It's like a coffee, sweet cappuccino-esque type of scent so really like this i just don't prefer the rollerball so these are gonna go up on my mercari together okay i have a calvin klein women little spray and i'm gonna declutter this because i have my full size of women and i don't think i would really travel with this I don't know. I think I'm going to just let go of it. And then I have this Milky Centel by Kristen S. Hair. I think I got this at Target. This is nice. It smells really good. Ooh, that's really nice, actually. Do I, do I want to get rid of this? It's nice to revisit these because these little samples of my travel sizes, to be honest, I don't really go into that much. What the heck? So it's nice to smell them. And this is a really nice scent, yes. But I'm probably never going to use it after this video. As much as I want to keep it, like, I really want to keep it, actually. Oh, that smells so good. It's, like, peppery. It's sweet. I'm going to get rid of it. I like it, but I'm not going to use it. And then the last one, I have this little Perfect by Marc Jacobs travel size. I bought this when I didn't really know if I wanted to get the full size of Perfect. And I just don't use it. I don't think this is a bad scent. I actually like it it's not bad it's not one of my like favorite favorites so i'm gonna let go of it i'm gonna put all of these in a bundle on my mercari these kumba made fragrance oils are some of my favorite fragrance oils and i don't think i'm gonna get rid of any of these because i really really like them i have two vanilla beans which is probably my favorite such a good layering scent too because it's like a true vanilla scent it smells like freaking vanilla cupcakes and then i also have egyptian musk and persian garden which are really nice Nice, light florals very feminine just really really pretty and these get a lot of compliments they're like little tiny oils but they're really concentrated so i'm gonna keep all four of those i have these two i got these on amazon these are like pheromone fragrance oils and i actually love the scent of these i don't know about the pheromone thing i mean when i wear these my husband like is all over me but he's all over me any other day so i don't know if it's just because of these so i don't think these do anything pheromone wise i mean maybe i don't know but the scents are so good maybe they are pheromone kind of infused because when i smell these i'm like this is delicious this is by pure instinct pheromone unisex perfume oil this is the original one and they came out with this crave one these are on amazon 
if you want to try them i'll link them down below but i am keeping these i really like layering with these i have just a couple samples this is montal intense cafe i have like just a few drops of that maybe like one more use so i'm gonna i'm gonna actually keep that for now casa marati lira oh this is one that amy sent me this is of lira because this is when we were talking about the dolce gabbana devotion perfume that came out and i ended up not really liking that so she told me she's like you probably like lira because it's kind of like a better version of it and i do agree i actually really really like this scent so definitely keeping that i'm gonna let go of this little sample by oscar de la renta de la blanca i think it's called I actually love this scent. I have a lotion of this that I use like every time I get out of the shower. It's like the most amazing feminine, just pure, clean scent. It smells so good, but I never use this. And it's one of these type of things where you have to like, I just, I don't care for applicators like this. So gonna let go of that. That'll go with all those other samples that I listed. And the last thing I have here is Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. I never use this, but I am gonna give this to my mom. Because I think she'd like it. And the last thing that's on here, I need to clean the basket of this itself because there's like oil all over the bottom of it. This is vanilla musk and I think it's this that has gone all over it because it's like leaking. Let me smell this because I think this might have gone bad or something because I've had this for... Oh, all of the gold from the cap just came off. <sighs> that smells really good. It's definitely not gone bad. If anything, I feel like because it's had time to like macerate, it's like a really nice vanilla scent mm, i want to keep that i just hate the fact that it's just destroyed but i'm gonna keep it i just need to clean it up a bit the last thing that's in here actually is this harim al sultan um spray of the fragrance oil that is like super popular definitely keeping this i love this scent all right let me clean this put everything that i'm keeping in it and i'll be right back all right this is looking way more manageable like i'd actually remember that i have all this stuff and start using it so i'm really happy with this declutter i'm gonna put that up there and we're gonna finally get into tackling this big boy okay so we're gonna start with this top layer i have a step stool here because i'm only five one and although like i can see it i can reach it i just want to be able to see back there so i'm gonna get on my little step stool here and i'll be right back this by the way highly recommend it's the myers multi-surface cleaner but this scent lemon verbena specifically it's like an aromatherapy kind of scent it smells so good i'm gonna just take everything out okay first layer is all cleared out and i'm just gonna clean that up a little bit so i think i want to dedicate this first layer to all my collaborations like fragrance brands that i've worked with mainly it's gonna be dossier because i have so many dossier scents you guys know i've been working with them for a while now and i've accumulated a good collection and i'm gonna keep everything just because i want to make a lot of videos with them i want to do like this ranking dossier scents video that also i like i like all of them so i'm gonna just put them back on here some of my top scents by dossier woody sage this is gonna be really like front and center because it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna put these like front and center. So there they all are. It looks so, so much better now. That's just Dossier. I still have some other brands that I've worked with, but I wanted to just show you this. This is empty because my husband has used every last drop of it. This is a dupe for Armani, I think Aqua de Gio, Gioa smells so good and he clearly very much loved it. anyways that is all my dossier stuff i love how this looks now it's so aesthetically pleasing to me now and then i have a couple of these these are by be layered when i worked with them definitely keeping both of these these are some of my favorite perfumes um i'm gonna put those back there i've decluttered a lot of juliana scents out of my collection just because i have the dupes and i don't like to keep a lot of dupes in my collection like two of the same especially now that i'm trying to declutter a lot but these two specifically are my favorites that have survived all my declutters double decadence is a dupe for spirit choose double vanille and i haven't actually smelled this in a while but considering it survived so many declutters i'm sure i really like this oh yeah that's oh that's staying that is so good 
totally understand why that has survived so many declutters. And Scarlet Letter is inspired by Alien Essence Absolute, which has been discontinued and people love that scent. It's a really hard scent to get your hands on and I'm definitely gonna keep it. I just realized I missed like four dossier scents, so let me put those back. This Michael Malou Nightfall perfume is so good, so sexy. And then Okja Sinful is a dupe for Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. This is one of the best dupes for it and I almost prefer this to the original. So keeping both of those. All right. Okay, so this section is looking a million times better. So we're gonna move on to the second row. I think I want this layer to be my like niche or like just really high-end perfumes. And then I want this one down here to be my designers. Hopefully it fits on my designers because it's getting kind of crazy. But like I said, I, I need to declutter a couple things in this video. So I really, really need to be strict which hurts my heart a little bit because I love all these perfumes, but let's try. The only problem with this thing is, is like, I don't want to waste space because I don't have that, that many niche and like super high up fragrances. Definitely not enough to fill up this entire thing, like up here. And I don't want to waste space and just put like a few and then have like so much empty space because all these other ones down here are like full. So I think this one is just going to have to be my niche slash designers like it's gonna be like the beginning of my designer perfumes as well i can take away my step stool now because i'm good by the way this was on the top row and i'm gonna put this back in this is this vaseline stick and i like to keep this with my fragrance collection because if you don't know i've already done a video on this but if you want to make your scents last all day throw a little bit of this on underneath wherever you're gonna spray your perfume this is gonna make it stay on like 10 times longer so i want to put this like right here in the corner just because I want it to be like front and center. I don't want to forget that. Okay, I'm going to move all of these out of here so we can start cleaning this up. By the way, I need to show you this perfume because I keep looking at it. You see the dust that's all around there? This is what I mean by I gotta clean like my individual perfumes. I'm gonna put my Jo Malone's up here. On this front row, I'm gonna put the fragrances that I have more than one of like from the same brand so that it looks really cohesive on here. So like all my Kayalis because these bottles are gorgeous and they definitely need to be displayed. You do need a little bit of dusting though, just like a quick cleaning. Okay, they look nice and beautiful on here. Two of my MFK fragrances. This Baccarat Rouge definitely needs a good cleaning. This actually, unfortunately, when I got it, it was like leaking oil and it's always been a mess of a bottle all along the base of the nozzle. It is so bad. Like, look at all the gunk that just came off of this fragrance. And the thing is, I actually clean this routinely, but it's it always just accumulates stuff at the base, which sucks because it's one of my most expensive perfumes. It still works fine. It's just, you know, some annoying stuff. That looks so much better. Okay, that's looking nice and pretty. So that can go in there now. Also, my gentle fluidity. These caps get so much fingerprints on them. It's looking real good. That is it for that front row. Of course, my BDK Passe Soir. As you can see, I've done like very little decluttering. I have a feeling the decluttering is probably going to start when I get into like the designers and the more affordable fragrances down there. Okay, I'm gonna try to put like my more bougie fragrances on here, like my Coco Noir by Chanel. I actually forgot I have two Killian perfumes. This Love Don't Be Shy also has the same issue as my Baccarat Rouge where the base of it is a mess and it's just like leaking. What is with these like expensive perfumes having all these issues? Like it's so annoying. Of course, my Delina. This is one of the most gorgeous perfume bottles. It is so beautiful. I don't use her that much because it's not like a daily perfume for me. I have to be in the right mood for it. But I love her. So yeah, I wish I could actually put Delina in the front row. But the front row is already taken. Actually, maybe I can... Sort of do this with my Kayali fragrances and put that right there. Yeah, that works. That definitely works. And now you can actually also see the ones behind these a little bit better. I also have Mancera Roses Greedy. 
which is another niche. Oh, I love this one. I wish I could put this front and center too because I use it so much. Another 13 by Le Labo, one of my favorites. This video is a little bit of like a perfume collection also because you kind of are seeing every single perfume that I own. Look at the dust on this perfume. I don't know what else I'm going to put up here. I think I'm going to put just like some of my most used when I go out type fragrances, like my sexy perfumes. So Dolce Gabbana Pour Femme Intense. Gonna go there. Narciso uh, Musk Noir Rose, one of my all time favorites. I guess just like bigger bottles, cause those are more like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my bigger bottles on here, especially cause they're gonna be in the back. At least I can still see them cause they are so big. So Hot Couture, also gonna go there. Yeah, that looks nice up there. I'm gonna put both of these, my Carolina Herrera Good Girls. That sounds so weird. That was a really weird sentence that I just said. This one needed a nice dusting too. Mm, I don't know. That perfume is like so beautiful not to like display. So maybe I want to put that in the bottom. Like in the front row down here. Ah, uh, no. I'm going to put it here. And then this one is the flanker to it. This is Good Girl uh, Supreme. I'm kind of sad at the fact that these are not displayed. But I guess you can still kind of see the heel back there. Of course, I can't forget my YSL Libre Intense. One of my favorites, again. Right there. There's still a lot of space back here, and I don't know what else to put. Let's put my Black Opium back there. Even though I am kind of afraid by putting this all the way in the back. Like, I already don't use this that much, but I really like this scent. Like, I wouldn't ever get rid of it, but it's just not a daily. Oh, that looks so much better. No, I don't want to put that back there because it's too short and if I put it back there, I risk probably never seeing it, which means never using it. So I'm not going to put that back there. Oh, going to put Armani Code back there because it's long enough where I can still see it. Yeah, that works. This Burberry body is also a long fragrance, but I don't know if I want to put this on my designers because I mean, it was very inexpensive. I got it at TJ Maxx. But it is a designer fragrance, but I want to put it here just because it's tall enough for me to see it, even if it is all the way in the back. So I'm going to leave that there. And I think the last fragrance I'm going to put back there is this Lancome Tresor in Love. This is on its last leg. It has just a little bit. I haven't used this entire fragrance up. I've used up a good amount of it, but my mom actually gave this to me because she wasn't using it. And when she gave it to me, it was already like halfway gone. So I've made a nice little dent in it. But I just need to finish this up. So I'm going to just put it back there. And hopefully I can see it so that I can remember to finish that up. Okay, I think I'm done with this layer. I'm happy with it. I need to take off my jacket because I'm getting hot. This ring light is really hot. Let's start on this section now. All right, I need to turn the AC on because I'm overheating. Okay, let's start with step number one, which is just removing everything. have I been recording? Okay, so with this section, I need to be a little bit more strict on my declutters because this one, I love all these perfumes. I'm going to keep them all, whatever. But here and down, I need to start actually trying to get rid of some. I'm not getting rid of this. This is my Giorgio Armani C. Fiori. This has been discontinued. And I love her. I don't use it that much just because it is more of like a going out fragrance, I feel like. It's a little bit on the stronger side. But I don't wear it all the time, but I like it. And I definitely don't want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put that front and center. And then I have my OG C here. This perfume smells like red wine to me. I've put so many perfumes on me at this point. Now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, I feel like I have fragrances that smell similar to this. Oh, this is a really hard one. I'm going to put this aside for now. I don't think it's a definite declutter, but I'm going to put it aside and I'll revisit that at the end. That's going to be a really tough one. La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier definitely is taking the front row. Black Opium and Black Opium Le Parfum. Definitely keeping both, especially Le Parfum. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite perfumes ever. I regret getting just like a one fluid ounce of it. I should have gotten a bigger size, but I can always do that if I want to. 
This perfume has given me so much troubles through all the declutters that I've done with it because every declutter I go to it, I'm like, I never wear it. Like, look at it. It is full to the brim. I have maybe sprayed this just a handful of times, but every time I smell it, I'm like, no, I really like this though. Like, it smells so pretty. It smells like bubble gum. I don't, I don't even know how to explain this. Oh, it's really pretty. Like, I don't... I don't know. I'm gonna put that to the side. I'll revisit those at the end. Valentino Donna, born in Roma, of course. Gonna keep. I actually have a couple of these. I have this one that's a 3, or no, I think it's a 1.7. Yeah, 1.7 fluid ounce. And then I also have a, a baby version of it. This is the one fluid ounce. I got this when I was traveling because it came with the cap and the OG, like the bigger sizes don't come with the cap. And similar bottle also keeping Valentino Donna. This is just the OG Donna. I'm not really sure what this little Charlotte Russe perfume is doing here. This is Refuge Adore. And this should be at like my more affordable fragrances, but I'm gonna get rid of this because I never use it. So this will be up on my Mercari. Versace Eros Porfem. This is, I think, EDT. Definitely, oh, gonna keep this. Julia has a gun. Lipstick Fever, gonna keep. I'm definitely gonna display all my little aliens. You already know, Burberry Goddess, 100% keeping. This perfume, I love it so much, but it pisses me off because I broke it. Like, I broke the nozzle, and now it just, like, squirts. It doesn't even spray. If you guys know how I can fix this, if there's any way to fix it, let me know. Like, literally, the nozzle is here, so it should be spraying here, but it's, like, spraying here. I mean, it still works. Like, the I can still get the fragrance on me, but look at that. Like, it just squirts, and it stains your clothes like that. It's so annoying. Like, it dries eventually, but it's just annoying. Maybe I can replace the nozzle. I'm gonna keep it though, but it does annoy me every time I use it. My Dolce by Dolce, both of these. These are some of my favorite perfumes. They just smell so beautiful and elegant to me. Victor and Rouse Flower Balm. I have like a little one fluid ounce of it and I'm gonna keep it. I use this from time to time. It smells really nice, very feminine, sweet, florally. Dolce Gabbana Limperatrice. This fragrance is also on its last leg. It just has a few drops left of it and I need to just start using it up it smells really nice i'm gonna keep this just to wear at the gym and hopefully i can get through it i'm just gonna try to really focus on that so i'm gonna put that like in the corner i have this this ellis brooklyn sun fruit this smells so good and i use it for like vacation so i'm gonna keep that i have my two skylar fragrances i love pink canyon pink canyon smells so good this is so underrated from their line but it's so good Ooh, of this sneeze <coughs> i just sprayed a lot of perfumes okay and then there's vanilla sky which of course i've raved on and on about i'm gonna smell this in a minute <sighs> smells like a warm cappuccino hmm the only reason where i'm kind of like not eh about it but i have so many vanillas at this point hmm Oh my god, I don't know. I, you know, this may be a shocker, but I'm going to put that to the side. Pure Poison by Dior. It smells really good. Michael Kors Wonderlust is like a very jasmine forward kind of scent. Definitely keeping. Of course, Givenchy Irresistible. Definitely keeping. Bul Bulgari Omnia Coral. I always struggle saying this. Keeping. This Dolce Gabbana The Only One scent is nice. I just don't use it that much. And it's way too similar to Black Opium in my opinion. I need to smell this side by side to Black Opium just so I can really decide. It smells way too similar and smelling them side by side, I, I kind of just prefer Black Opium more. So this will be a declutter. Chisardi Donna. Definitely keeping. Keeping my Bronze Goddess as well. Narciso by Narciso Rodriguez. I forgot in all these Valentino Donnas that I have. I need to add my Donna Intense on there. This smells really nice. Gonna keep that. This section is getting way too full. I still have fragrances left. I think I'm gonna have to put the rest back here on this row. Even though I probably won't be able to see them that much. What sucks? Um, Jimmy Choo Illicit. Love this. Such a good sweet scent. It kind of honestly reminds me of Vanilla Sky. To be completely honest. But like um, sexier, more feminine version of it. Very, very London is so nostalgic to me. I've been using this for years. 
this Carolina Herrera 212 VIP baby mat. What do you think I'm gonna do with this? <laughs> Why so manifesto? This has been with me through so many declutters, okay? And I'm never gonna get rid of it. It's discontinued, super hard to find. It's such a strong scent, but yeah, I love it. I'm gonna actually put that here. Versace Crystal Noir. I'm gonna put that back here. Jimmy Chu, I Want You Forever. Another huge, huge favorite of mine. Again, regret getting a little size of this. This is a 1.3 ounce, but I need a full size. Lanco Miracle, again, very nostalgic. When I went to Greece last year, my cousin, my aunts, they were all using this. It smells so pretty, it's so feminine. All right, so it's actually a little bit later. I had to charge my camera because it was about to die. But in that time, I figured out which perfumes I'm gonna declutter. So first of all, these two, they're staying in my collection. Dolce Gabbana and the only one and Giorgio Armani C. I had my husband smell everything that I was kind of like iffy on and he really liked these two, but I also really like them. Like when they're on the skin and they've had some time to stay on your skin, they smell so good. So they're not going anywhere. They're going right back here. But I am letting go of these three, definitely. I had my husband smell them, like I said, and these were the three that he was kind of like ant on and I'm also kind of ant on, so... Lanterdy by Givenchy is unfortunately leaving my collection. So is Vanilla Sky. I love this perfume for so, so long. I still do, but I have a ton of amazing vanillas in my collection. So I feel okay about letting go of this one and not really missing it because I have others that can very easily take the place of this. I have a lot of body mist with this kind of scent profile too. So I don't think I'll miss it too much if I do let go of it. I'm also letting go of Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. I liked this too for a while and then I just stopped using it and now every time I revisit it, I'm like, this smells nice, but it's not groundbreaking to me, but it is really sexy. Like, it's nice. It's just like I have other scents that I'm much more in love with for the sake of being strict. These three are most definitely leaving my collection. They're going to be up on my Mercari, so check them out over there. I have just a few scents. That one is more affordable, so I can go down there. I'm going to put my Glossier U here as well commodity milk this is the personal one i also have the original one but that's in my perfume haul drawer because i actually don't know why it's in that drawer <laughs> because i have hauled it but anyways um this is gonna go back here and i have mont blanc i love this scent so this is staying actually no i'm gonna put that here because it's just a little bottle all right we are all done and organized with these three now we can move on to the actual mess and yeah um let me get you guys down here i don't know how because this tripod is like really long so let's just see what i'm gonna do all right i hope this angle is not too weird but um this is the next section we're gonna tackle this is all of my more inexpensive fragrances so i'm gonna start by just obviously clearing it out and this is the section that i really want to be strict on letting go of stuff because it's getting crazy up in this section there is like no more room at all and it's just too crazy in here so i really really need to be strict on it which is hard because a lot of these have survived many declutters so i don't know how this is gonna go One perfume I know I'm going to get rid of is Very Sexy Oasis by Victoria's Secret. Just because um, I recently kind of revisited this and I smelled it and I'm like, yeah, I can let go of it. It's like a musky, sexy type scent. It's really hard for me to explain, but I'm going to get rid of it. Like, I just, I'm over it. You already know Perry Ellis Orchid smells absolutely incredible. Definitely not getting rid of that but this is gonna be more so in the back i want to put the like taller fragrances in the back zara rose gourmand smells so expensive for the sake of being strict i'm gonna let go of this eternity by kelvin klein i actually really enjoyed this scent it's so feminine and pure it reminds me of like a wedding type of scent it's really pretty but i don't know like just for the sake of being strict i'm gonna let go of it let's do all my juicy scents because i love these the original juicy couture love that juicy couture bodacious you know i'm obsessed and i'm already like halfway done with this and this makes me so sad because i can't find this anymore they discontinued it and i love it 
so i'm gonna put that actually these are like too big of bottles to be up front like i feel like they're just too bulky so maybe i'll put them like that and then i have viva la juicy i love viva la juicy but Teas by Victoria's Secret is pretty much the better dupe of Viva La Juicy. I find this to be stronger, more long-lasting, and this honestly just doesn't last. Yeah, like, it's too soft. I love this. Like, I even made a nice little dent in it, but I'm gonna let go of it. Just because I prefer the Teas one, and it's too close of scent profiles for me to have two. Teas is definitely staying. Another juicy scent that is for sure staying is Couture Couture. Love this. I'm gonna put that in the back because it is a longer bottle. Another longer bottle, Escada Miami Blossom. Love this. It survived many declutters for a good reason because it just like it's the juiciest. Oh, yummiest, sweet fragrance ever. I love this. Laura Mercier Ombre Vanille. I love this. It's been discontinued. Really hard to find. Kind of similar to the Sol de Janeiro sort of profile. And I love that. My three little BU scents. I have Heartbeat, Trendy, and About Me. I love these two, but I feel like this one I could get rid of. Yeah, I could get rid of that. This one is like a dupe for uh, Victor and Ralph's Bonbon fragrance. It's nice, not groundbreaking, but I am going to keep these two. Let's do the Zara perfumes. Zara Femme, I'm keeping. I think I'm down to like two Zara perfumes. I'm also keeping this one, uh, Wonder Rose. I have, I lied. I have three Zara perfumes. Uh, Tuberose Winter is also another one of my favorites. So I'm keeping all three of those. I'm actually going to put those in the front. Because I just like how they look. My MAC perfumes, I have three of them. I recently actually picked up a backup of Mac Turquatic because it's one of my all-time favorite scents. I'm keeping every single one of those. This English Laundry Oxford Blue scent is so good. This was literally $12.99 from Marshalls, but there's something so nice about this. It smells like clean laundry in the best way. I think it even has like a pineapple note, so it's very sweet and juicy and just very clean. It's so good for as inexpensive as it was. It's worth every penny. My Kelvin Klein perfumes, I'm for sure keeping Euphoria. This is one of my favorites. This is like a really awkward bottle. That's the only thing I hate about this is like too clunky and like wide and just, I don't know. Another Kelvin Klein scent, Kelvin Klein Women. Love that, obviously. I have Sheer Beauty. I also have the original Beauty. There's the OG. I feel like I could maybe get rid of one of these. I don't know. No, those are staying. They're both staying, at least for now. Two Victoria's Secret scents, actually. Three. Of course, keeping teas. Dream Angel. I really love this. It smells like the better version of Ariana Grande's Thank You Next to me. Like, it doesn't have that pickle smell that Thank You Next had, so I'm gonna keep that. Scandalous is also really good. Yeah, keeping that. You already know, I guess, Seductive Noir. And then I have Seductive Red, which, let's see, I haven't smelled this in a minute. Yeah, let's keep. Born Dreamer, I love this. I'm wearing pajamas, guys. Don't judge. Keeping that. Nina Richie and Amore More by Cacherelle are two of my favorites. So I'm gonna keep those. Lolita Lampica. I'm getting so uncomfortable down here. Vince Camuto Chow. This one is all about the berries. And if I'm being honest, like, I really like this. But to me, it's more so of a body spray kind of scent. Like, it reminds me of Be Enchanted and all those, like, really berry-rich kind of scents. So... I feel like I could probably get rid of this if I had to. Kind of thinking I'm going to. I really like this. It's really pretty, but it can go. I need to be strict. Okay, I'm going to do my Arab fragrances last. So I'm going to put all my Arab fragrances to the side for now. I also have some of them down here. Pink Sugar. Gotta Stay. That's a classic. The Good Scent Manifest Your Future. Love her. You guys already know about that one. Finery Before the Rainbow. This is a do for Wood Sage and Sea Salt, which I love. But I have the dossier version of it, and I'm just wondering, like, do I need this one too? I'm gonna set that to the side for now. I'm not sure. Azro Mademoiselle. This is very nice, but it's not groundbreaking like it reminds me of scents i have like it reminds me of ari it reminds me of like celebrity perfumes it has a really nice scent to it. it smells really really nice very feminine sweet girly florally but i just feel like i have other scents that could take the place of this i'm gonna put that to the side for now and we'll revisit it in a minute downtown by calvin klein is so good this is definitely staying this little 
Juicy Couture tiny little fragrance. I'm gonna keep this because it's just a little tiny thing and I could probably use that up in like no time. I Love Love by Moschino is too good. Definitely keeping. Yes, I Am by Cacharel keeping. And I also have the Yes, I Am. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm keeping it. This little DKNY be extra delicious. I think I can let go of this. This is a really nice, like, freshy, sweet kind of scent, but I think I'm gonna get rid of that because I just, I don't need all of these, like, similar scent profile kind of scents. Definitely keeping Sol de Janeiro, love that. Kelvin Klein Into You, gonna keep. I really like this. It's a really big bottle, though. I feel like I could put this in the back. Definitely keeping my Lover Dose by Diesel. What do you guys even think I'm gonna do with this one? It's already getting really full here and I still have more. Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. I feel like this fragrance started my love for fragrances, so I have to keep it. Okay, down to just a few. My Roberto Cavalli by Roberto Cavalli. You know, I really like this and it smells super expensive, but I just don't use it that much. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna have my husband smell a few of these and he can kind of, you know, tell me what to do because I just don't know with some of them. Vera Wang Princess is such a nostalgic scent. I think I'm gonna keep that just because it's pretty and I feel like as like an everyday scent, uh, it's nice and light. I feel like I could even use this to go to like to the gym, literally. So I'm gonna keep that. I have my Pacifica Scents, Indian Coconut Nectar, and Island Vanilla. I always have these on hand, so I'm gonna keep those. This section is really not gonna be that organized. It's just how it is. White by Kenneth Cole. I don't know what to do with this one. I've revisited it in so many declutters and I'm like, should I keep it? It smells so good. Like this was, I wanted to wear this as like my wedding scent. I didn't have a wedding. I did not want a wedding, but it just reminds me of that. But at the same time, I'm like, I could probably let go of it. Like, I don't think I'd miss it too much if I let go. This is gonna be a maybe for decluttering as well. And then the last one for this section is Rosewood by Banana Republic. I recently revisited this because I had it listed up on my Mercari and then I was like, I kind of like this. I'm gonna set that to the side. I need to get to that with like a clear nose because right now I smell like a million perfumes. So I don't even know where I'm at. Okay, let's start on this very last section here as well as my air fragrances. And we're gonna be done with this video because I'm so tired. I've been filming for over an hour, maybe even two. So this video is gonna be a hassle to edit. All right, let's empty out the last section. So oh, this is gonna be very hard because I like all of these a lot. Um, this Selena Gomez perfume, I've really fallen in love with recently. I hate this bottle. What even is this bottle? It's so big and like loud for no reason. But I really like the scent, so I'm definitely keeping that. Of course. Yeah. I don't think I even need to say anything about those. Beyonce Heat. Which, which one is this? I don't know which one this is. I really like this fragrance, so... I think I'm gonna keep it. Of course, keeping my uh, Billie Eilish perfume. I think I might let go of this Onika by Nicki Minaj just cause like, it's just like a basic kind of scent. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put that to the side for now and we'll see. I'm gonna keep all my Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth even though my husband does not like this one. I like it. Keeping all of these KKW and Kylie fragrances, these three are my favorites. I have two of the same ones here because I love this scent so much. And then I also love the nude one. I'm gonna keep all the Ariana Grande fragrances that I have. So keeping Ari because this is like the fragrance that started my love for fragrances. I'm keeping it sweet like candy. Of course, keeping Cloud. I'm gonna keep God is a Woman. I love that one. And I really love Thank You Next 2.0. It reminds me, honestly, a lot of K. Ali Eden Juicy Apple. But it also has a touch of cloud-ish in it. So it's a little bit different. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this KKW Body. I think this is Body 2. Yes, Body 2. I really like it. It's very comparable to like Beach Walk by Replica. I'm going to keep my Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. Keeping both of those. Love these. And of course, my Killer Queen by Katy Perry. For some reason, I'm really addicted to Midnight Fantasy. So I'm going to keep that guy. Fancy. 
you know, it took me a while to like this fragrance, but I really do like it now. I love this. It's, again, really weird bottle. If I ever do travel with it, I'm only taking this part because what even is all of this? But it's the Justin Bieber girlfriend. It's Justin Bieber girlfriend. This Our Moment perfume is by One Direction. It is such a throwback, but I do like it and wear it from time to time. It's just like an easy, girly, everyday type scent, so... I'm gonna keep that. I have to start making room for my air fragrances because they're also gonna go here. So I need to like move some stuff around. These two KKW scents, keeping both, keeping my Riri and my Rihanna Rebel Fleur, Love Always. I pretty much kept all of them <laughs> because I really like those. It's really hard for me to declutter those fragrances. But the last fragrances that I need to declutter are my air fragrances, which again, I don't think I'm gonna declutter. Um, these two definitely not. My Yara. This fragrance oil, definitely not decluttering. Casablanca, Choco Musk, not decluttering. This one, I don't remember the name of, but really good. These are the only two where I don't know because they're a little bit on the stronger, like, oudy side. And this one, Shagaf Oud, is a lot of oud, but, like, I think it's sexy and I think it's really expensive smelling like it's nice but i just feel like i don't know like the more it dries down i'm like ugh, i don't know okay wait let me smell this one this is latafa amethyst mm, i definitely like this one i'm definitely gonna keep this i think i might declutter shag off oud unfortunately it's like a little bit too much for me i tried i since i bought it i've been wearing it just to kind of get into it but i just don't think it's just a little bit much for me that's point blank period we're done this section kind of stayed a mess i'm gonna try to mess around with it to see if i can get it looking a little bit better because it's yeah it's a mess so yeah okay so here are all the unfortunate declutters um, I will be doing a video kind of more in depth kind of explaining why I got rid of each of these So check that out But if there's anything you see on here that you want for yourself Go ahead and snatch it up on my Mercari link will be the first link in the description box now. Let's do the grand reveal That is it for this video. I am tired. I've been filming for like two hours. So this video is definitely not going to be fun for me to edit. If you've made it through to the end of this video, you're a real trooper. And I personally want to tell you that I love you. Let me know in the comments. Comment down below the um, this candy emoji. If you stay to this part of the video. And I'll know who my real ones are. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.